Twelve constellations somehow reflect people's personality. Chinese people think that each Chinese zodiac animal has personality traits assigned to it as well. For instance, it's believed that people born in the year of the ox are diligent, those born in the year of the rabbit are mild, and those born in the year of the dog are loyal. Will the person associated with the ox and a person associated with the horse become close friends or even lovers? Basically, both oxen and horses are herbivores and are not often aggressive type, so they are likely to get along well with each other. Nevertheless, in the Chinese zodiac, the ox and the horse are vindictive to each other. As mentioned in the last section, the stems and branches with the yin yang and the five elements are used to practice divination. The twelve different earthly stems are in a relationship of mutual generation and restriction, which also works in the twelve zodiac signs. The branch chou and wu tend to act against each other, so the ox and the horse can hardly be in amicable terms. In contrast, the branch yin and hai are of fair compatibility. Therefore, the tiger and the pig are friends in terms of the zodiac signs, although in reality, that sounds insane. Additionally, the friendly pairs in the zodiac signs include the rat and the ox, the tiger and the pig, the rabbit and the dog, the dragon and the rooster, the horse and the goat, the snake and the monkey. And the counteracting ones are the horse against the ox, the goat against the rat, the snake against the tiger, the dragon against the rabbit, the rooster against the dog, the pig against the monkey. Apart from relationships, the zodiac compatibility also exerts influence on people's luck. For example, 2020 is a year of the rat, and because the rat reinforces the ox but undermines the goat, people born in a year of the ox will have a better luck in 2020, a year of the rat. Conversely, people associated with the sign of the goat might bear some risks. 